My name is Ahmed Atif. I'm a local GP and clinical lead for long-term conditions at Oxfordshire Clinical Commissioning Group. I'm here today to encourage you to get active, stay healthy. We know that physical exercise is good for your mental and physical health. Uh, and that doesn't necessarily mean you need to join a gym. We know that for patients with dementia, uh, this sort of physical exercise, it doesn't need to be uh, particularly strenuous, but anything you can manage around the house, it might be with your carer, uh, and really it's just to get you physically active and enjoying what you're doing. And we know that that will help you in the long run for your physical and mental health. So get moving, get active and stay healthy. The old mantra of what is good for the heart is good for the brain rings true for people with dementia as much as it does for everyone else. Exercise seems to help your brain not only by keeping the blood flowing, but by also increasing certain chemicals that protect the brain and tend to counter some of the natural reduction in brain connections that occur with aging. Physical exercise should be continued for as long as possible for people with dementia, as it has been found to have a number of benefits. It can help prevent heart disease, diabetes, muscle weakness, mobility problems, and other health complications associated with, a, with an activity that can contribute to the progression of memory problems. It can help promote a normal day-night routine, improve mood, and increase social participation. Exercise also plays a part in reducing stress, anxiety, and depression, which are, can be common and seem to play a part in the progression of dementia. Exercise can improve self-sufficiency, self-confidence and cognition, helping people with dementia maintain their independence for longer. Yet evidence suggests only a small number of people aged over 65 engage in adequate levels of physical activity, while people who have dementia are even less likely to do so. An exercise programme incorporated into a person's lifestyle in the early stages of dementia is more likely to be maintained as the condition progresses extending benefits to health and well-being for as long as possible and using a structured program can help ensure this. But before embarking on any exercise it's important to consider what a person is able to do. Whether a person can take part in physical exercise depends on a number of factors that include pre-existing conditions such as arthritis, breathing problems and heart problems. If you aren't sure if any of these conditions could be an issue you should check with a doctor as it's important to adapt the activity according to the person's abilities. But by doing some of the activities outlined in this DVD, I hope you can improve and maintain your levels of exercise and relaxation, and in turn, help maintain your health and independence. Hello, my name's Sarah, and this is Movement and Rhythm. Let's sit yourself on top of your sit bones on your chair, just as tall as you can, and then have a bit of a slump. All right, great. Now, see if you can sit up again, lovely and tall, and just puff out your chest. As it's you're sitting up beautifully tall on those sit bones, that's good. Now, any time you wanna have a slump, you go for it. I'm just gonna remind you to sit up a bit taller if you can, just cause it's really good for all our muscles. Now. If you can, and if you feel like it, can you give me a smile like this? And you don't have to mean it, it's just that it's really good for your facial muscles all around here to smile, to see what you, good. All right, so let's start. I want you to tap through your toes. Tap through your toes. All right, can you start to feel a rhythm coming in those, to in those toes? Can you start to feel that's it, bit of a rhythm. Feel it, feel it, good. All right, let's do both together, ready? So let's tap and tap and tap. Good, and tap, well done, keep going. Keep going, good, excellent stuff. Great, quite nice to have a bit of music on maybe if you fancy, you choose what's good for you. All right, let's stop there. Bring those heels back a bit and tap your heels one at a time. Same thing, bit of rhythm, just get those heels tapping. You can be my speed, you can be a different speed, doesn't matter, just get those heels moving. Superb, let's do both together. Ready, here we go. And tap, and tap. Good, and tap, and tap, well done, great. 
Beautiful. Looking good. All right. Let's hold those feet still. See if you can sit up tall again. Let's start to swing your arms. Forwards and backwards. Forwards and backwards. All right. Good. How are you feeling? Great. Bring those elbows backwards. That's it, just swinging through, just swinging through. Take it easy, take it easy. All right, well done. Let's slow it down. Pop your hands on your thighs and clap and tap and clap and tap. Well done, so feel that rhythm again. Clap and tap, well done. Go clap and tap, superb. Clap and tap, good. Feeling all right? Tap and clap, tap and clap. Well done. All right, let's do two taps and two claps. One and two and one and two. One and two, one and two. Well done, go tap and tap and clap and clap. Good, are you with me? There, there and there. Good, great. One more time. All right, ease it down. Tap through those toes again. Tap through those toes again. Great, all right, now then. Lovely stuff, excellent. All right, bring the heels back a bit if you like and tap through those heels again. Good, that's it, just getting those ankles moving and feeling the rhythm in your ankles. Terrific, terrific, good. Hold the feet still, lift up beautifully tall again. Go back to swinging through your arms. All right, well done, good. You might find that those arms are moving a little bit bigger. That's good, just a little bit. Excellent, excellent, excellent. Swinging through, good. All right, well done. Slow it down. Let's tap and clap. Go tap and clap. Well done. Go tap and clap. Terrific. Tap and clap. Excellent. Tap and clap. Brilliant. Now, can you clap side to side? Come with me. Go tap and clap and tap and clap. Terrific. Tap and clap. Well done. Tap and clap, looks great, tap and clap, excellent, tap and clap, terrific, good. Keep working at your own speed or you can be at a speed with me for four, for three, well done, for two and one and hold your hands on the chair and start to give your feet a march. Give your feet a march, great. Working through those thighs, good. That is excellent. And again, feel your rhythm, feel your rhythm. It's march and march and march and march. Terrific, good. How are you doing in that spine? Has anyone had a bit of a slump? If you have, don't worry, just sit yourself up a bit taller if you can. Are those feet still moving? How are you doing? Good stuff, well done. All right, let's hold those feet still. Take your hands together and I want you to row side to side. Good, side to side, well done. So working through your waist, you'll feel your waist moving. Excellent stuff, looking good. That's it, sweeping through, sweeping through. Excellent, good. All right, now, I want you to try something for me now. So look, your hands, you've got one thumb on top. Can you put the other hand on top, so the other thumb. How does that feel? It's weird, isn't it? Feels a bit different. Go again. That's good. You naturally got that one thumb on top, haven't you? Good, that's it. Now, doesn't it feel, feel different having that other thumb up there? Good, that's it. Swinging through, swinging through. Excellent stuff, good. All right, let's go back into your march. You ready, steady? Holding onto the chair and off you go. We're marching, we're marching. Now, how's that slump going? Lift up a bit taller if you can. Excellent, right on top of those sit bones. Keep marching through. Can you bring your arms in as well? 
Oh, good. That's excellent. Look forwards. Good. And those facial muscles, how are they doing? <laughs> That's it, swinging through. Get the legs going. Now this is gonna start to raise your heart rate as well, isn't it? As well as this rhythm, you're going, all right, okay. Starting to breathe a bit more deeply. Work at your own level, all right? Work at your own level at a level that suits you. Slow it down. I want you to go cross and tap and cross and tap. Well done, go cross and tap. See if you can feel where those shoulders are. Cross and tap and cross and tap. Do four and tap and three and tap. Well done, how are you doing? Good, one more. Ease it down and march again, off you go. Arms as well if you can. Look forwards. All right, looking good. Keep marching through. Well done, how's that breathing? You're probably breathing a bit more deeply now. That's good, so work at your own pace, work at a pace that suits you. Rest whenever you need to, rest whenever you need to. Come back in with that march if you can. All right, good, well done, we're doing brilliantly. Hold those feet still. I want you to roll your arms forwards. Roly-poly, roly-poly, good, all right? That's excellent. Good, how are you doing there? Getting into that rhythm of just rolling and rolling. All right, slow it down. I want you to try and roll the other way now. Are you ready? Roll it backwards, roll it backwards. There you go. All right, well done, good. How are you feeling? Okay, getting those arms rolling back, rolling back for four and three and two and march again, off you go, it's march, good. And swing those arms if you can. All right, well done, looking good. All right, terrific, we're gonna do four and three and two tap your toes to the side here we go it's tap and middle and tap and middle good so tap out come in tap out come in lovely all right good now can you take same arm same leg same arm same leg good looking good Excellent, good. Keep that rhythm going. Well done. Well done. Do four and three and two. Tap your heels in front. Here we go. It's heels, middle. Heels and middle. Good. Now, how are you feeling in that spine and that breath? Can you take arms forwards, come back? Arms forwards, come back. See how you feel, see how you feel. All right, now, this is as hard as it's gonna get. I want you to do four and three and two and march off you go. Now, that's good, that's great, excellent stuff. Now imagine that you are walking right up to the top of this hill. We're nearly there, we're nearly there. Oh, good, I reckon that. We are there, so go down the other side, go down the other side, start to make the movement a little bit smaller, a little bit easier, well done, well done. Keep the feet moving if you can. Now how about keeping the feet moving and doing that rowing action again? Take your hands together and row from side to side from side to side. How are you doing? Are those feet still going? That's good. That is good. Well done. Excellent. All right, it's quite hard to coordinate those two at the same time. All right, well done. Now then, you can keep the knees going, knees lifting if you like, and just start to make everything smaller through those arms. That's it, that's good. Yes, that is excellent. Now, start to slow the whole thing down and go back in to those heel taps, those heel taps, those heel taps. Now your toe taps, it's toes and toes. Good. 
and toes, excellent. And toes, last couple, slow it down. And take a well-earned slump. All right, hold your feet still. Now, what I'd like you to do, pop your hands on the thighs, lift up tall, bring your shoulders back and lift the chest. So try and get the oxygen in now. All right, so just feel the breath come in and you can slump back down again. Oh, well done. Can we do one more? Ready? Hands on those thighs, lift up tall, shoulders back and down, lift the chest up, try it, that's it, try and stretch through the back and the chest. Oh, well done, well done. Ease it all down, ease it all down, well done. All right, I want you to do one more stretch for me, okay? See if you can. Make fists and then stretch your hands and your arms out as wide as you can. Unfurl the fingers and stretch wide. Good, don't hold your breath. Just take it wide, have that lovely stretch. Oh, brilliant. And come on back and rest. Superb, you have done brilliantly. Take a breather. Take your slump, grab a drink if you need one, go and get a cup of tea, and you have done fantastically well. Well done. Hello, my name's Sarah. Thank you so much for joining me. This is called Maximum Movement. This is a short, fun exercise routine. You can do it on your own or you can do it with a partner. Absolutely fine, whatever suits you. This is designed to get your bones and joints moving through its maximum range. So, here we go. Start to sit up a bit taller in the chair for me. All right, so sit on top of those sit bones, bring your shoulders back and down, and give me a smile. Now, let's just get yourself a bit more warmed up. So tap through your toes, that's good and march through your feet and give your arms a bit of a swing as well. So whatever you feel like doing, just get yourself moving a little bit in the chair. You can give your arms a wiggle. You can give them a bit of a shake and give your shoulders a bit. Just something that just gets you moving a bit in the chair. All right, so here we go. Maximum movement. Hold those feet still for me, all right? Sit on top of your sit bones on the chair. Arms down by your side. And I want you to try and shrug your shoulders up and release them down. So you do a shrug, you go up and you go down. And two more, there, that's it, and down. And one more time. All right, now I want you to roll your shoulders. Now can you, let's do them both together like that. See how you get on, that's it, see how you get on. All right, one more. Now, what I want you to do is imagine that you're combing your hair. So just do it with one arm. Just imagine that you're combing your hair backwards like that and the other side. That's it, so you're combing your hair backwards like that. That's it, good. That's great, lovely. Now what you can do is start to imagine maybe that you're swimming and you're doing backstroke. So your arms are becoming, that's it, bigger in their movement. That's it, ah, great, and just feel how that's just working through the shoulders. That's it, and just imagine that you're lying back, swimming through, or you're still combing your hair with a giant comb, <laughs> whatever suits you here today, all right? That's great, working through the shoulder joint, working through your arms. Oh, that is terrific, that is terrific, good. One more time, one more, brilliant, and relax down there. Okay, now let's take those hands towards your shoulders and bring them back down. Do that again. Hands towards your shoulders, bring them back down. Now you can, if you want to, touch your shoulders and lengthen them all the way down. Just see how you get on there. See how you get on. Yeah, that's good. It might just be half a movement. What we're doing is getting your elbows moving. All right, that's good. Lengthen them out. Excellent, one more time. Good, all right, 
Relax that down. Now, let's give those wrists a twirl round. Good. So this is really good for your wrists, really good for those wrist joints. Keep them moving. Good, and the other way. That's it, give them a twirl around, good. How are they doing? How are they feeling today? All right, and now, what about a wiggle through your fingers? Now, you can imagine that you're playing the piano if you were a piano player. Good, or you can just give them a wiggle, like maybe you're sliding those hands into a pair of gloves. Oh, that's it, and they're just great, just moving through there, excellent. Now, this is called maximum movement, so what I'd like you to do is make your fingers go wide, and then make a fist with your fingers, and take them wide again. That's it, so it's there, stretch them out, so that's it, so think about maximum movement, stretch through those fingers, good. One more, all right, make your fist again, Turn your fists up towards your ceiling. That's it, and out again. So in and out. So just close and straighten. Should feel quite a nice movement there for your fingers. Excellent. All right, good. One more. Relax that down. Give them a wiggle out again. All right, now, sit on top of those sit bones. Have a lovely tall back, arms down by your side. And I want you to reach down, like pretend that you're picking up a fiver from the floor and bring it back up. That's it, and the other side. So ease it down and then come back to the middle. All right, good. Lean in a straight line, down towards the floor, back to the middle. Good, down towards the floor. Is that a pound note? Up it comes. Good. One more time each side. There you go. There and the middle. Can you do one more? Reach down, reach down, come back up to the middle there. Good, and relax that there. Right, next one. Now, I want you to imagine that you've got a tray of tray in your hand. Maybe it's a tray of drinks, elbows in at the waist. Ah, good, now I want you to serve it one way. So turn one way, come on back to the middle, and turn it the other way. That's it, so imagine that you're just serving that tray of drinks. So everything needs to keep nice and still in the middle. That's it, swing it through. So what we're doing is moving through your spine and your rib cage, just keeping that lovely and mobilized. Can we do one more time each side? There. You're probably turning your head as well towards those people you're serving. Good, back into the middle and relax those arms. That's it, good, that's it, give them all a wiggle out. You are terrific, good. Lift up beautifully tall again. Now just tap out to the side. That's it, side to side. Good, that's it, good. Working through the hips, excellent. Good, tapping out and tapping out, terrific. Good, all right, lovely. Let's do one more time each side, good. All right, stop there. Lift up tall, now pop your arms out in front of me. So imagine that you've got a steering wheel, it's quite a big steering wheel, but I want you to go one way and then the other way. Or maybe, I don't know, maybe it's a giant beach ball. Whatever it is, you're gonna sway side to side. It's like you're driving or turning a big steering wheel. So can you feel how that's really good for your shoulders, getting right into those shoulder joints and right into the waist as you twist? Good, well done. That's it, side to side, side to side. Good, couple more. Lovely, nice big drive or a nice big sweep through that beach ball, whatever it is, one more. Good, and you can relax down there, come back into the middle. Can you go back to those toe taps out to the side? Good, good. Right, I want you to maximize your movement. Ready? So I want you to go out, in, out, in. That's good. Now, if you're feeling all right in your spine and your neck, you can have a look at the way you are going. Up to you, all right? It may be that you don't want it. You'd rather, you'd rather look at me. All right, so do whatever suits you. All right, so it's arm and leg, maximize your movement. So it's big, good, excellent. All right, great. Let's do one more time each side. You are wonderful. Tap your heels in front, ready? Here we go. So just tap, 
in, tap, in. That's it, good. Lengthen through those legs. Now, how are you doing in your spine? You're still lifting up tall. It's quite hard to think about sitting up tall at the same time. Just see if you can. That's it, work through the spine, work through the chest. Yes, this is great. Good, tapping those heels and tapping those heels. Wonderful. All right, now, just relax there. What I want you to do now is circle your ankle, all right? So you can hold onto your leg or you can sit yourself all the way back in the chair. Because I want you to circle your ankle around, give it a good circle around one way and a good circle around the other way. So think maximum movement, maximum movement right the way through those ankles. Good. Stop there. Change sides, ready? So all the way around one way. Oh, that's brilliant. Good. All the way around the other way. Maximum movement right the way through. Excellent. Good. Good, good, good. All right, now then, if you're sitting back in the chair, can you try for this last time to come forwards? See if you can lift up through those hips as you come forwards on the chair, right? So you're just lifting up, lifting up. Good. That's it. And then come back into that sort of feet hip width apart and lovely and tall. All right, everybody, take a really big stretch out to the side, like so, really big stretch and furl those fingers and relax it down, have a bit of a slump. Brilliant. Let's do that again. Ready? So you come all the way out to the side. Good. And you come back in, have a bit of a slump. Right, we're going up to the ceiling. We're nearly there. All right, so this time, can you reach on up? Reach on up to the ceiling. How are you doing there? Now, can you reach one side, the other side? So a bit like you're climbing up a ladder there and there. That's it, and there and there. So you're reaching up, you're reaching up. If you want to look at your hands, if you want to, if you can, look at your hands for that maximum movement. Good. One more time, nice big reach up. Brilliant. And you can relax that down. Good. Give those shoulders a wiggle out. Turn your head. That's it. Give everything a wiggle. Oh, well done. And now you can have a slump and you can rest. Well done. Grab yourself a drink. Get a cup of tea and a bicky. Whatever you need, you have done brilliantly. Well done. Hello, my name's Sarah, and this is Everyday Strength. So it's just a short 10 minute routine. It's designed to get your muscles moving. You will need some household objects for this routine. You'll need a couple of tins. They might be tins of beans, tins of soup, just anything you've got in your cupboard. A couple of tins of beans, a tray, and a tea towel or a t-shirt, all right? So any, just anything like that, just so that we can give your muscles something to work against. Working out through your muscles is really good for improving your strength of your bones and improving posture too. So it's a really useful thing to do. So here we go. Can you start just by doing a bit of a warm up for me? So come and sit yourself on the front third of your chair probably on a dining room chair, whatever it is, and you've got your stuff on the table next to you. Sit up as tall as you can and just start to move your joints. So move your toes, that's it. Start to move your legs. You can move your arms as well if you like. Just anything that you, if you're already warm, brilliant. You know, if you're just starting off, just get yourself moving through your feet, getting yourself moving through your arms. That's it, you might want to have, just have a bit of a wiggle through. Just something that gets your arms and legs moving. You might have done the other routines on this DVD. Brilliant, they will get you lovely and warm before you do this one. All right, now, so hopefully you've just got into the zone a bit more, all right, and you're just that little bit warmer. So sit on top of your sit bones for me, and I want you to start with your wrists. So. Take your hands together into a prayer position and just press them just towards your sternum. Start to press your wrists together. See if you can keep the heels of your hands together. Now, add a bit of resistance 
add a bit of resistance. That's great. That's great. This is really good for the strength of your wrist. Now just give it a rest. Give it a rest and shake them out because it's quite tough position that on your wrists. Let's try it one more time, ready? So here and press, press those heels of the hands together. Well done, well done. Good and relax, good. Just wiggle through those hands. Now, you can do that one again, or if you want an extra challenge, you can turn your hands down. Oh, that is much harder, and start to bring them up a bit. Relax your shoulders, just press through, so you've got that different position through your wrists. It's hard, that. Good, good, well done, don't hold your breath, and rest, and give them a wiggle out again, give them a turn. Good, all right. Now, one hand on top of the other hand. So that one was pressing. This one, I want you to pull. Relax your shoulders. Pull your fingers or your arms apart and you'll feel the resistance come through the wrists again and through the shoulders and through the chest and relax. Okay, let's do that again. Can you try the other hand on top? Do you see the difference? Other hand on top, other hand underneath, like so. And pull. So it's another pulling movement. Well done, well done. Excellent, don't hold your breath. That's it, pull them apart, pull, pull, pull. Rest, give those fingers a wiggle, give your shoulders a roll. Okay, well done. Ankles, really, really good for your ankle strength and your balance, this one. Pop your hands on your knees and lift your toes up. Ready? Lift your toes up. Hold it there, don't hold your breath and you can feel that that's just working through your shins. You feel that through your shin muscles there. Hard, it's hard, it's really, really good for your ankle strength. Pop them down. Right, we're gonna do it again. Lift those toes up, ready? Bring your toes up. Now, if you want the extra challenge, you can push your toes out to the side, but keep your knees facing forwards. Now you can sweep them down, in, and up, they don't need to touch, that's okay. See if you can keep your knees lovely and wide. All right, so those toes go up and then they sweep down and your toes come up. Well done. How's that? You can feel that really working through those ankles, really working through the shins. This is really good for your walking stride as well. So it really helps, you know, to walk with that Lovely toe lift, helps to keep your balance as well. Well done, well done. You can make that one the last one and you can pop it down. Give them a bit of a wiggle out because it's really tough on those shins. Okay, that's great. All right, everybody. Now, here is where you need your household objects. So, can you grab your tins for me? All right, so you need one in each hand. All right, so just grab your tins. They should feel quite nice in those hands. They're not too heavy, they're just heavy enough to give your muscles that bit of a challenge. Right, take your arms up. Now, I want you to place that tin on the middle shelf, bring it back. Other side, middle shelf, bring it back. Let's go again, middle shelf, bring it back. Middle shelf, bring it back, well done. There, now, you can go at my speed. You can go at slightly slower speed if you want to. How's that feeling through those shoulders? It's quite hard on the shoulders, that one. One more time each side. All right, good. Have a breather, just pop them back on your thighs and just have a relax for a sec. Hard one again. We're gonna pop it on the top shelf. You ready, grab your beans, your tins. Top shelf, bring it back down and again. Top shelf, bring it back down, well done. So good reach up, that's excellent. So extend through those arms, pop the tins on the top shelf. Well done, and again, notice your back still nice and straight. That's it, chest lifted, good. Chin lifted, and again, there. All right, you are doing brilliantly, you are doing brilliantly. Let's do one more time each side on that top shelf. You ready, steady, off you go. That's it, stretch up and put it on the top shelf. And the other one, stretch up, put it on the top shelf and have a breather, relax there. Good, 
All right, another one. Lift up tall again. Take your tins. I want you to put it on a side shelf. You ready? So pop it on that side shelf. Bring it back in, back to your thighs. Go again, ready? On that side shelf and back into the middle. Let's go again. Now, if you want to, you can look at that tin as you put it on the shelf. All right, see how you're feeling in your neck and your head. Just see how you're feeling. You can keep your head looking forward if you'd rather. That's okay. Good, and you can just feel, you can just feel where the tins are going. Well done, well done. Are they on that middle shelf still? Good, looking good. That's it, side to side, side to side. Great. Can we do one more time each side? Each tin on the shelf and another one, each tin on the shelf. Superb. Come back into the middle there, have a breather. All right, last one with your tins. Arms down by your side, and I want you to do a bicep curl. Ready? So show me your muscles there and ease them down. And again, so it's just a bicep curl. That's it, flexing those muscles. Good. Show me your muscles in the front of your arms. There. Ease it down. And again. There. Good. Ease it down. Well done. Bicep curl. Squeeze. Good. And again. Squeeze. Brilliant. Let's do two more. How are you doing? How are those muscles doing there? Good. And one more time. Nice big squeeze through the biceps. Lovely. And you can rest there. Well done. All right. You can put your tins of beans back on the table or back on the chair. I'm just gonna pop mine on the floor. All right, so I'm just gonna pop mine down there. Okay. You are gonna need your tea towel now, tea towel or t-shirt. All right, so whatever you, just anything that you've got here handy, could be a dishcloth. But what I'd like you to do is squeeze it together and take it out so you're holding it like so, knuckles on top. Right, I want you to row side to side. So just getting those arms going, getting the shoulders going, side to side. Okay, so working through the shoulders, working through the range of movement in your shoulders. That's good, that's good, lovely, excellent. There, good, and there, excellent. Couple more to go, couple more to go. All right, one more. Brilliant, and you can stop there. Pop your tea towel or your t-shirt on your thighs. All right, now, turn your palms up towards the ceiling and slide your hands under your t-shirt so your hands are fairly close together. All right, fairly close together so your elbows are tucked in at the waist. Now, I want you to work the muscles in between your shoulder blades, ready? So I want you to pull those elbows back and ease it forwards. You ready? So the movement is pull back, ease forwards, pull. That's it, that's it. Draw it right back. Good. Ease it forwards. And again, pull back. Excellent. Ease it forwards. Well done. Couple more. You all right? Pull. There. Excellent, really work through those shoulder blades. Let's do one more. This is really good for your posture. When you feel, squeeze those shoulder blades together. Excellent, don't hold your breath. Relax, pop the t-shirt or the tea towel down and just ease out. Right, one more with that t-shirt or your tea towel. Grab hold of it again, knuckles on top and ready. Take now, take your arms up and over your head, nice big reach up and ease it back down. All right, you ready to go again? Re big reach up, excellent, and bring it back down. So this is really gonna work through the strength of the muscles in your back and your shoulders, and it really gives that chest a really good lift. Let's do three more, ready? So there, take nice deep breaths. Good, and again, there, great, oh, brilliant. And let's do one more. Ready, steady, and lift. Oh, terrific, ease it back down, have a breather, relax your shoulders, and pop that t-shirt or tea towel down on the floor. You've done it now. Okay, next one, you're gonna need your tray. So, 
Take hold of your tray. All right, uh, mine's got handles on it. All right, but you might have it underneath, whatever suits you with your tray. Now, bring your elbows in at the waist. Look forwards, and I want you to twist side to side. All right, so you're gonna go twist, come back to the middle, and twist. And come back to the middle. Excellent, do that again. Twist, so this is really working through the muscles underneath your rib cage. That's good, that's good, and all in the waist there. Well done, you can look the way you're serving those drinks. Well done. Now this is hard for those biceps as well because those biceps are fixating in place to hold your tray up. And look, and if you want the extra challenge, you can keep your beans or your tins on the tray. All right, come back to the middle. We're nearly there, all right, we're nearly there. Pop your tray back on your thighs and just give your arms a stretch out, all right, because those biceps have worked hard. Now, this one, I want you to try and work your legs, all right? But you're gonna focus on your balance as well because I'm gonna get you to keep hold of your tray. So, move your feet so they're slightly behind your knees. Lean forward. Now try not to spill the drinks that are on your tray, all right? So squeeze your elbows in, lift your bum, not too high. Ready, steady, lift it, put it down, have a breather. How are you doing? Ready? Lean forwards, ready, do a small lift, just a small one, that'll do, that'll do there. Excellent, excellent. All right, do another one in preparation because I think you can probably guess what's gonna come next, all right? Now, if you want to, if you're feeling really strong, you just want the challenge, I'm gonna get you to stand all the way up. So, don't spill your drinks. Feet go behind your knees, fixate those elbows, Lean forwards, are you ready, steady? Try and stand a bit up, a bit more, you can stand all the way if you want to. And now sit yourself down. You might wanna take a little step back towards your chair and down you go, nice and slowly. All right, well done. Let's do one more time. All right, you can stand all the way up or you can do like me, which is halfway. All right, so get yourself on the front third of your chair. Okay. You ready? It's feet behind your knees. It's lean forwards. Are you ready, steady? And a little lift or stand all the way up and ease yourself back down. Drop your tray down onto your thighs. Ease your feet back out in front of you and you can pop your tray back down onto the floor or on the chair next to you. Oh, well done. Well done, well done. We are almost there. We just need to have a quick stretch before we finish. So, come forward so you're on the front third. You can reach round and grab hold of the back of the chair if you like, or pop your hands on your bottom, all right? Squeeze your shoulder blades together, lift the chest up and stretch through that chest and your arms. Oh, well done, you've done brilliantly. You've done absolutely brilliantly. You can relax through that chest, relax the arms. Good, let's do one more. So take one arm up towards the ceiling and lean over. Try and stretch there through the waist. Well done. Come on back into the middle and change sides. So it's a reach up, doesn't need to be too high. And you lean over, don't hold your breath. Come on back into the middle and relax down, give your shoulders a roll. All right, we're gonna do one more stretch to finish with. I want you to take one hand, pop it on your opposite knee, take the hand to the back of the chair, lift up tall, and look over that shoulder, so give yourself a stretch through the rib cage, and slowly unwind, and come the other way, so it's there. All right, so you're gonna lift up tall, look over that shoulder, come on back into the middle there, and have a rest. Well done, you have done brilliantly. I hope that was all right. Extremely well done. Hello, my name's Sarah. This is called 
boost your brain. It's 10 minutes, it's short, fun exercises, you can do with a partner or you can do on your own, and this is all about trying to challenge your brain, your coordination and your limbs in time and space and your memory. So you do not have to get this right, all right? This is about the challenge of it. It's about the trying, not getting it right. So don't worry, all right? This is just, and it's just a bit of fun. So hopefully it'll make you laugh. Can you start please by giving your hands a rub? So give them a rub, all right? So one hand, the backs of the hands, the front of the hands, because I just want you to feel your limbs all right, so let's get your arms going. So imagine that you're giving yourself a big sort of soapy bath. You know, so you've got to do your limb. You can do under your armpit, how's that? And <laughs> down the other side. Yeah, that's good. So give them, that's it, give them a good old, give them a good old rub. Through the front, through the front, excellent. Through the back, and then like, like through your legs as well. So just feel them, feel your thighs. Feel the backs of the thighs. Just give them a bit of a rub and be giving them that soapy bath. Right through those shins, that's it, and the calves. Lovely, and the other side. Right through the shins and the calves. Yeah, that's good, that's good. So just give them a feel, give them a rub. All right, lovely. Now, I need you to pat them dry. So pat them dry, so give them a pat through. It doesn't need to be hard, all right? So you don't need to give it a big slap. Just, that's it, just rub them through. So again, it's just feeling feeling your arms, feeling where they are. And remember, it doesn't have to be perfect. It really, really doesn't, all right? It really doesn't have to be perfect. All right, now, I want you to grab a towel and imagine that you've got to rub through your, <laughs> rub through your back. So what you're really doing here is just getting your whole body moving. That's it, so oh, that's it. Give yourself a towel dry. All right, throw your towel away. Okay, now, first thing I want you to do is to remember the days of the week. Now, it can be anything, it can be any rhyme you want. All right, for now, we're gonna do days of the week. Ready? So we've got Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Terrific. Remember those, put them back in your brain somewhere, and we'll come back to them at the end of this session. Right, okay. So here we go with your fingers. Let's spread your fingers wide. And I want you to touch each finger to your thumb. Have a go, have a go. Remember, it doesn't need to be perfect. I want you to just feel fingers onto your thumb. Good, good. Now, here's the first chat, well, that's the first challenge. Here's your second challenge. Remember, it doesn't need to be right. This one is finger to thumb. This one is index finger to thumb. All right, now try doing that movement again, each finger to thumb, and you're going round the other way. Yeah, good, good. How are you doing? How are you doing? Have you made it back that way? It's hard, isn't it? And remember, it doesn't need to be correct. All right, it doesn't need to be correct. So you want finger to thumb one way, that's it, and finger to thumb the other way. So see how, which way you can go, all right? And just have a practice through, just have a practice through. So remember, you're starting this way, and then you're going round each way. Yeah, going round each way. Oh gosh, it's really hard. <laughs> how are you doing? Excellent, have a breather, have a rest. Forget your fingers for now. Forget your fingers for now. All right, now, what I'd like you to do is imagine that you've got a pen in your hand, probably in your, well, whichever hand you write with, and I want you to write your name in the air. All right, so my name's nice and short, I'm only gonna do Sarah. All right, so I'm gonna draw an S. I'm not gonna say it, because it'll confuse everybody. So just draw your name in the air. Draw your name, spell it out, draw your name. Good. I've only got five letters in mind, that's good. Now then, you have used your dominant hand, the one that you write with. Your challenge is to write your name again with your other hand, all right? So with your non-dominant hand, ready? So give that a go, give that a go. Oh, I'm not gonna say it, I just want you to do it. Yeah, good, good, excellent, excellent. 
How are you doing? If you've got a long name, it's quite hard, isn't it? I'll give you a, I'll give you a sec to finish it off. It's good, isn't it? It's good. Again, another challenge. You do not have to get it right. Give everything a wiggle through again. Have a bit of a slump <laughs> and sit up tall again. All right, wonderful. Next challenge. Now, I want you to grab your fingers again and draw sticks in the air. So just draw your sticks like that, up and down, up and down. Just sticks, imagine that you're drawing sticks, okay? Good, good. All right, now come to the top and can you draw me a right angle triangle? So can you go out and in? Now let's do one at a time. All right, so start at the top, go out and in, like so, down and in. Okay, can you see those three lines? Let's try it with your other hand. Okay, so with your other hand, start at the top. So go out and across. Okay, so go out and across. Okay, let's try your triangle again. All right, so this time you went out and across. Can you go down now? So ready? Go down, out and back up. One way might be easier than the other, I don't know. Just see how you're feeling. Now remember, it doesn't need to be right. Okay, it doesn't need to be correct. It's just thinking about it and doing it is your challenge. Let's try it with your other hand. Okay, ready? So this is down, out and across. Down, out and across. So it's just those three lines of a triangle. Okay, so. Do you remember your sticks? Do you remember your sticks that you did? What we're gonna do is sticks and a triangle, right? So, start at the top. Let's do your sticks first with both arms, ready? Sticks first, okay? Now come to the top and do your triangle. How are you doing? Do your sticks. Do your triangles. All right, now here's your challenge to finish with. It's a stick with one hand, it's a triangle with the other. Are you ready? Let's go. There, there, there. Now you're gonna have to do it again so that you match up, ready? There, there, <laughs> and there, and then relax down. Great, should we do that one more time? Because you might want to try it with the other hand, okay? So start with, your, start with your arms up. Are you ready, steady? So you go out, in, up. Out, in, up. Good, and relax. How is that? Good, give it a bit of a wiggle out. All right, you are doing brilliantly, well done. That was hard, wasn't it? Now, I want you to fold your arms for me. Just give them, a, give them a fold. So give them a fold. All right, relax your shoulders, give them a fold. Now, can you look down, because you've got one hand on top, haven't you? What I'd like you to do now is refold them with your other hand on top. All right, so you've got the other hand now on top. Okay, so you've got there, and the other hand going down. Took me a while. <laughs> Have you got it? So the other hand on top. Doesn't it feel weird when you fold your arms the other way? Really good. Remember, it's the thinking about it is the important thing. Have you got your other arm on top? Now, fold them the normal way and then you'll go, okay, yeah, okay. Fold them the normal way. Doesn't that feel easier? Do you want to try it again with your other hand on top? So just slide that other hand, fold it so it goes on top and the other hand goes underneath. Feels most peculiar, doesn't it? But again, it's the trying that's important. Good. All right, well done. Unfold your arms, excellent. Okay, now, this is about trying to work two different sides of your brain. What I'd like you to do is tap one foot. Tap one foot. Draw a circle with your other hand. Now, are you still drawing that circle? Good, keep your foot tapping. Draw the circle the other way. Ready, off you go. Draw the circle the other way. 
Good. Good. All right, well done. Stop there. Let's tap your foot on the other side. Ready? So let's tap. And ready, it's circle on the other side. Good. Good. It's really hard because your brain is doing two different things now. Well done. Can you draw the circle the other way? Give it a go. Give it a go. You are brilliant. You are brilliant. Good. Excellent. Now there's lots of different things you can do with this one. All right, you can stop there. You can stop there. Now you can do things like lifting and you can do things like going out to the side. So you can have a go at trying that. All right, so it's all about different things that your brain is doing one side to the other. Good. All right, let's try it on the other side. All right, so it's a lift and it's a reach. It's hard. It's good. It's good. It doesn't need to be at my speed. It can be a slower speed and that is fine. Good. Well done. Well done. All right. Relax down there. Lift up tall. All right. Here is another challenge for you now. This is about feeling where your limbs are in time and space. Can you have a go at taking one hand towards your nose, see where it lands, all right? So don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. Just see where it will go. Can it touch on your nose? Relax that down. Now, try it on the other side. Bring it in. It doesn't need to be perfect. Bring it in. Remember, it's the thinking about it. Think, think, think. Think, think, think. It's got to go towards, you know, you've got to feel it. And relax that down. Now, if you've got that and you're like, yeah, great. Let's try hand on nose and other hand on your ear. All right, so it's nose and it's ear. Or just keep trying for your nose again. Okay, relax that down. Try the other side. Try the other side so it's towards your nose. See where it lands? Towards your ear. Brilliant. Brilliant. Good. And relax that down. How are you doing? There's been an awful lot to think about here. Can you remember right at the very beginning we did the days of the week? Tell me them again. Ready? We've got Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday and Sunday. Well done, well done, well done. Give everything a relax down, give it a slump. You can shut your eyes now if you want to or just look down towards the floor. Just do something now that you don't need to think about and you can have a good relax. That has boosted your brain. Well done. Hello, I'm Frances. I'm one of the tutors for Generation Games. And we've given you various exercise sessions. We're now giving you a relaxation session. So if you'd like to find a comfortable chair or a bed and settle yourself into it, and just feel that you can take some time to relax and focus on yourself and your body and your breathing. So once you're settled in place, give yourself a little wriggle, make sure everything feels right, that nothing's going to feel tight for you. Close your eyes and just listen to my voice. So just give your arms a little wriggle, let them settle. Feel that they go a, bit, a little bit softer, a little bit heavier a little bit looser. Let your shoulders relax and the tension drop away from your neck and the tops of your shoulders. Now think about your legs. Give them a little wriggle, little jiggle and just feel that when you let them go they're a little softer and looser and more comfortable. And now gently turn your head just a little bit, a little wriggle one way or the other. See if that can take a crick out of your neck. 
or just let you align it so it's a little more comfortable. And now as you rest there, become aware of your body being warm and relaxed and comfortable. And now just become aware of your tummy. As you breathe in, it lifts slightly. And as you breathe out, it slowly drops back. Don't do anything to change this, just become aware of the breath in and the breath out. And the rise and the fall with each breath. Now think of each breath in, bringing you a golden warmth, a golden light, a gentle energy. So as you breathe in, there's a little bit of gold comes and rests in your tummy. As you breathe out, it stays there. And the next breath brings a little bit more. And keep on going, building up this golden glow, this warmth and relaxation. Feel how your tummy now fills with that golden warmth. And we're going to start sending this out around your body. So, slightly bigger breath in, really fill up with that golden warmth. And now, with your next breath, start sending it down one leg. Feel it go past your hip, down your thigh, past your knee, down your shin and your calf, right the way to the tips of your toes, Give your toes a little wriggle so that the very tips are golden and warm. Bring your mind back to your core, your tummy again, and we'll do the same for the other leg. Send that golden glow with your breath down your leg, past your hip, down your thigh, your knee, your shin and your calf, down into your foot and right the way to the end of your toes. Give them a little wriggle, so even the very tips are golden and warm. Bring your mind back to your center. Feel how the breath has carried on building that golden glow and now this is expanding up your rib cage, and it's going to go down one arm. So with the next breath, send it down past the shoulder, down to the elbow, down to the wrist, and right the way to the fingertips. Give the fingers a little wriggle to make sure it goes all the way to the end. Bring your thought back to center and do the other arm. Breath in, breathe out, send it down past the shoulder, past the elbow, past the wrist, all the way into the tips of the fingers and a tiny little wiggle to make sure it reaches the very end. Bring your mind back to your center again. Build that golden glow. It's strong and it's vibrant, but it's calming as well. 
I'm going to take this up through your neck, up the back of your neck, round over the top of your scalp, down your forehead and your face and down your throat to join up again to your chest. And now just feel that every breath in is filling your head with that golden warmth, that golden calm, gentle energy. You don't have to do anything with it. Just be aware of it and enjoy it. Feel your breath topping up that gold for you, bringing you the warmth, bringing you the energy to be calm and at peace. very gently. Give your toes just a little wriggle. And then move your feet a little. And then your ankles and your knees. Give your fingers a wriggle and your hands and your wrists. Move your elbows just a little bit, and then your shoulders. Gently turn your head one way, and then the other. Take your chin towards your chest and back up again. Take a bigger breath in, golden bright, vitality this time, a little more energy, a little more vitality. Feel you're coming back to the present. And when you're ready, open your eyes. <laughs>